Alright kids, today we're going to be looking at some more Five Nights at Freddy's bootlegs. And this time, from Pizzeria Simulator. Hi caramba puppet Steve, we're going to be looking at some more Pizzeria Simulator bootlegs. Oh, this is always such a travesty. <laughs> I know El Chip, but the kids just love when I look at bootlegs. Hi. Okay, let's do this senior. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so here's the new package that we got straight from Mexico of these Mexican bootlegs. <laughs> and inside, looks like, oh man, we get a whole set of these figures based on Pizzeria Simulator. Whoa, check out this package. <laughs> up top here, I guess we have a picture of all the figures that are inside. So let's go ahead and open this up. With some scissors, because my hands can't open it. And the first one we're going to take out and look at is... Haha, <laughs> Rockstar Freddy. So here we go, here's the first figure of Rockstar Fre wait, uh, wait a minute, that's not Rockstar Freddy, where's the star in his chest? Oh man, oh, you crazy bootlegs. Ugh. If we take a look at the uh, top of the package with the picture here, we see that Rockstar Freddy's supposed to have a star in his chest. It's not even there. Oh man, what kind of crazy bootleg is this? And you know what? If I look at this picture here, I don't think these are the pictures of the bootlegs. I think these are pictures of the Funko versions, but just squashed down and make it look like these bootleg versions. Oh my gosh, those tricky bootleggers. Oh man, I can't believe that they did that. Oh, they tricked us. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, anyway, here's the bootleg version of Rockstar Freddy without the star on his chest. I mean, you know what? It does, I will give him credit, it does look like the original Freddy Fazbear, but I didn't want Freddy Fazbear, I wanted the Pizzeria Simulator figures. Oh, for crying out loud. But uh, uh, anyway, if we look closer at this figure, we see that even the eyes, oh man, they can't even paint right because the paint's outside of the eyes. Yep, and that's some crazy bootlegs for you because we have some crazy paint on the mouth there. Ugh, gross. And then we go down on the chest and it looks like there was more painting out of the lines. And the interesting thing about this is that, well, they're about half the size of a Funko figure and about twice as tall as a minifigure. So, yep, we have all kinds of different scales of these figures here and these bootlegs don't really fit into any of them. Oh, weird. <laughs> it doesn't even stand up either. Oh, creepy bootleg. <laughs> Oh, Puppet Steve, these bootlegs are so ridiculous. Yeah, I know, but they're, not, they're so much fun to laugh at. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, crazy bootlegs. And of course, since El Chip loves them so much, <laughs> we'll check out the bootleg figure of him next, which is right here. And upon close look, we <laughs> oh man, where's his hat? <laughs> oh, they forgot his hat. Oh, brother. Well, it looks like we get a little baggy of accessories, and there's his hat right there. So let's get this out of here. It looks like his ukulele's in there as well. So let's see, get this hat out of the bag. And, oh man, it doesn't even fit! <laughs> oh man, these bootlegs are so crazy, the hat keeps falling off. Oh my gosh. Oh, for crying out loud, it's supposed to go in like this, but, uh, but these prongs are so mismatched. <laughs> oh man, it doesn't even fit in there properly. Oh my goodness. So we're supposed to have a hatless El Chip. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my gosh, they can't even paint this properly either. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh man, his eyes like half painted there. His teeth are like half painted in. Oh my gosh, what a ridiculous bootleg. He doesn't even have a tail. <laughs> let's see, maybe it's in the baggie of figures. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> El Chip's tail. Which, let's see if this fits in here. Um, I guess like that. Oh, brother. Oh, and his tail's going down instead of going up. Oh, that's so weird. Now, if we look at the minifigures version of El Chip, we see that, oh, he looks great. Eyes, ukulele, and all. We see that the tail is going down and is attached to his, his rumpus there. If we look at this figure right here, <laughs> we see the tail is attached to the upper portion of his head. <laughs> oh man, that's not supposed to happen. So, uh, oh my gosh. And let's see, can he even hold the ukulele there? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. Oh, I'm crying out. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm done with this bootleg. <laughs> let's get out of here. Hi, caramba. Oh, that is so ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> oh, that is supposed to be me. Oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> I know. Oh man, this is just gross. Blah. 
Okay, let's check out our next figure here, which is uh, Rockstar Foxy. And finally, oh, they got a star on his chest. So that's one plus on this bootleg. But it looks like it's one of the very few because if we zoom in on the face here, holy cow, what is going on with the upper lip? <laughs> oh man, if we look at the uh, original Rockstar Foxy here, we see that, nope, it doesn't look anything alike. In fact, it looks like a mustache, which is similar to something we see on Hello Neighbor. <laughs> oh man, so I guess he's he's growing his uh, whiskers out into a mustache on this figure. Oh, that's great. Well, I gotta say, the eye looks pretty creepy on this guy. At least we got an eye patch, we got a little parrot on his shoulder. Holy cow, just look at that parrot! <laughs> Where's his beak? Oh my gosh! Oh, that looks so funny. But as for the rest of this figure, well, I guess it does kind of resemble Foxy. I mean, uh, this is probably as good as it's gonna get when it comes to these blue legs, but <laughs> there he is, Rockstar Foxy. With, uh, oh my goodness, an enormous club foot! <laughs> oh man, that foot is as big as his face! Oh man, why'd they make that so big? It looks like he has a medical condition or something. Oh my gosh. So see kids, this is why you buy Foxies made by Funko and not by Mexican bootleggers. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's check out our next bootleg of Orville Elephant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look at that, those beady eyes on his face. <laughs> What's he looking at? Oh, that's so hideous. Good old Orville here, supposed to look like this cute little elephant here. Oh, I gotta love that guy, but oh man. You gotta avoid this guy because he looks like a crazy stalker killer. Give this guy a knife and he's up there with the likes of uh, Jason Voorhees or something. Uh, we're going to kill you. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. Yeah, you know, we got those beady eyes. And you know, let's see, we got the snout coming down. I mean, that looks accurate with that purple hat on his head. So yep, all that looks great. And his body looks kind of good. But boy, those eyes. <laughs> oh boy, you don't want to have him around your children. Yeah. Okay, go back to the package here. Looks like we have two figures left. Next up is good old Big Patch. With, oh man, oh look at those eyes. Holy cow, looks like somebody just stepped on his toe. He's like, ah! <laughs> oh man, his expression is hilarious. Now Big Patch, if you remember, is this banjo tootin' piggy right here, which looks kinda cool. He's got those mismatched eyes. And of course, when you look at this guy, <laughs> oh man, he's anything but. He doesn't even have mismatched eyes either, so I don't know how you overlook that if you're Five Nights at Freddy's fan making bootlegs. But he does have the teeth, and other than that, I guess he does kind of look like Pig Patch, but the color's all wrong too. This guy's like a, uh, a dark red color, kind of like how Foxy's supposed to be, but uh, nope, I gave that color to Pig Patch here. Ugh, crazy. Well, anyway, he does come with a bootleg banjo here. I guess we could put in his arms or attempt to put in his arms. Let's see if I, uh, <laughs> he doesn't even stand either. Oh, brother. These bootlegs are something else, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, for cry, I'll forget it. But anyway, let's see. If we turn this guy around, he doesn't have a curly tail on the back like the other Funko ones do, so nope. But I do like the articulation on the head because instead of going left or right, it does kind of go side to side as well, so you can pose in all kinds of different directions. But believe me, kids, that is the only plus on this figure because everything else, this guy just fails. Oh man, I can't even get this guy to stand up. Oh, pig patch. You're one crazy oinker. And with that, we come to our very last figure, which is... Oh, brother. <laughs> the scrap baby. And just look at that face. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I can keep doing this review. Oh my goodness, oh that's crazy. Holy cow, you said it, senior. Oh, it looks like a train wreck, the head a train wreck. Oh man, you aren't a kitten. Oh, this thing's gross. But all right, let's try to get through this review because we have to review this thing. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, so anyway, Scrap Baby should look like this. I mean, there's a lot of detail to this figure. And when it comes to the Mexican bootleg, <laughs> it just doesn't have it. I mean, there's a lot of paint and detail on this thing, but unfortunately, oh my gosh, they did a really bad job. We get crazy eyes, a crazy nose, and just just the mouth looks nothing like Scrap Baby's supposed to look like. Even the hair looks kind of weird. Ugh, not sure what's going on there. 
but man, you could just tell that they just slapped this thing together. Even the body, look, just oranges right there and blacks right there. Where if we look at the original figure, there is a method to the madness. And with this figure, it's all madness. <laughs> oh, brother. But at least she has roller skates on her feet, which makes her stand up. Other than that, this figure is just plain awful. <laughs> scrap baby, you belong in a scrap pile. All right, kids, with that, we now have our complete set of these crazy pizzeria simulator bootleg figures coming at you. And I gotta say, I've never seen a line more hideous in all my life. Oh, with all these characters. And check this out. I had to put so much putty on their feet to stand them up that, oh, man, I've never used so much putty before. Oh, mama. All right, kids, well, there they are. The crazy Five Nights at Freddy's pizzeria simulator bootlegs coming at you from Mexico.